changing how we think. What problems do we have today? Do we really have physical problems like our ancestors had? Do we have to fight predators or fight for survival on a daily basis? What problems do we have today? Most of our battles are within us. We face battles in our mind. We fight worry, fear, anxiety and depression on a daily basis. So what is God's prescription for all these problems? We do know that the Bible has answers to every question we have. So let's go to it for answers. The main remedy that we get from the Bible to take care of our thoughts is taking every thought captive to Christ. The Bible says, we demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God, and we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. 2 Corinthians 10.5 We cannot control every thought we have, or what thought enters our mind. But we can control what we do with the thought after it enters. That is in our control. And that is truly the essence of Jesus' teaching when he says to take every thought captive. It is a conscious decision to refuse to entertain anything that is sinful or unprofitable and continuously replace it with the truth. Sometimes we have untrue and obtrusive thoughts which gives us constant anxiety. Sometimes they could be in or out of our control. Most times it is from the enemy. No matter where it originated, the Bible says we have to make them obedient to Christ. We must learn to discipline our minds. The harmful thoughts which we do not discard will fester and grow. Then suddenly one day we look back and wonder how did our minds become so dark. We let the darkness in little by little and didn't notice it until it was all consuming. The thoughts we feed will grow and the thoughts we starve will die. It is as simple as that. It is our choice. God does not say we won't have any problems here or any battles to fight, but he says he is with us through it all. He may give us battles, but he also gives us the weapons to fight them. Margaret Thatcher once said, Watch your thoughts, for they will become actions. Watch your actions, for they will become habits. Watch your habits, for they will forge your character. Watch your character, and it will make your destiny. And this is very true in the Christian sense. Also, the more our thought processes become synonymous with that of Christ, the more we become Christ-like. And Jesus tells us it is an ongoing process, that he continues his perfecting work in us. We don't become good Christians overnight. It takes continuous submission to God's will and guidance. May God guide and strengthen us to do so. God bless you all.